Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide how to create a bootable Windows ISO file from files and folders with any burn. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Creating a bootable Windows ISO file from files and folders with any burn is a straightforward process. Here are the steps you need to follow. First, download any burn from the official website and install it on your computer. Open the AnyBurn application. Select the Create Image File from Files, Folders option. Click on the Add button to add the Windows installation files and folders that you want to include in the ISO file, or drag and drop them. Now you can click on Properties and change some settings if needed, such as the CD, DVD file system, and label name. Then click OK. You will need to browse for the boot image file usually etfsboot.com for Windows files. Click on More, then Boot, then Add Boot Information. Click on Browse, and navigate to the Windows Installation folder, then to the Boot folder, then choose All Files to show all files. Select the etfsboot.com file, and click Open, then click OK. You should see the bootable image appears. Click on Next and choose the Destination folder and file name for the ISO file. Click on the Create Now button to start the process. Any burn will create the ISO file from the selected files and folders. Once the process is complete, you can use the ISO file. This should help you create a bootable Windows ISO file using any burn. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.